Hi guys, today we will learn how to post the salary centers based on the payroll sheet. This is the payroll sheet. But generally, we will use the uh, this payroll sheet in real time. Uh, so these are the columns: serial number, employee name, employee code, department, employee from which department, basic salary, HRA, convenience, medical, other, and gross salary. If you add this from basic to other element, the gross salary will come. These are the deductions: profession tax, CSA, fraud and fund, and TDS. These are the total deductions. If we add these four line items, this total deductions will come. This is the net salary. Gross salary minus total deductions, net salary will come. So these are uh, GL accounts are required. Uh, this first we have to create GL accounts like you know employee wise, Ravi salary, Raju salary, Ramu salary like that, and under sales group. Okay, uh, the groups are created for reporting purpose and group creation the name is salaries under direct expenses third one salaries payable account so this is under provision we have to create under provision esi and pf tds production tax this comes under duties and taxes we will see how to post the entries in tally to tally okay accounting orders f7 okay first ravi salary Ravi salary, what is the gross? We have to take here gross 40,000 and next Ramu, sorry Raju 20,000. Raju salary must 20,000. Next Ramu 50,000. Next Suresh 40,000 Next Naresh 14,000 Naresh 14,000 And Rajesh Rajesh 16,000 Okay And Professional tax Okay here we will take total value of all employees. Okay. Professional tax table. What is the total? 900 rupees. Next. What is the next? ESA. ESA employee contribution. What is the amount? 2475. Okay. Next. What is the? Fraud and fund employee sheet. PF employee contribution 7800. Okay. Next TDS. How much? 3000. And total net salary how much? We will take here net salary 168,055. Okay. This is we have to match as per the payroll sheet and tally. Okay. Come into narration. B salary paid for the month of Jan 2016. So this is entry will post on 30 first 1 2016. Okay. Enter, enter. Okay. We'll check the balances back. Go to the PND. Go to the PND. Here, right side detail. Here, just now we have posted this. Okay. This one. Okay. Total on like 80,000. This will match with this gross salary. Okay, gross salary. Okay, and coming to the provisions, go to the balance sheet, detail, duties and taxes 11,945. 
11,945. These are the taxes, total deductions. Okay, this we have to pay. Okay? Inclusive of professional tax, this we have to pay. Okay, this we have to pay. And the salary payable here provisions. Okay, we can see the salary payable. Okay, what is the amount? One lakh sixty-eight thousand fifty-five. Now we will clear the salary payable. Accounting voucher. F five for payment. Okay, from SDFC bank. And here uh, salary. Salary payable. Here we can see the payable amount. One lakh sixty-eight thousand fifty-five rupees. The balance is zero here. The payable balance is zero. Okay. Narration: B salary salary paid for the month of July 2016. This entry will post on maybe as per the company first of him. Okay, first of him. Check again the balance. Go to the balance sheet. Detailed here. There is no payable amount. So just now we have paid. This taxes we have to clear. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.